Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique and we've got something very special for you again today. We've got an exclusive first look at Loom 2 by Air Music Technologies. Now, Loom 2 is an additive synthesizer, but Loom 1 really made additive synthesis accessible to all levels of skill and Loom 2 has continued that tradition. So in this video series, we're going to check out what's new, what's improved, what's been upgraded and updated. And then in a second video, we're going to go in depth into the edit page where all the magic really happens. And then in the last video, we're going to check out the morph page, which allows you to morph between different settings, up to four different settings, all through an XY graph. It's incredible. And then finally, we're going to check out the wave page, which allows you to pull in up to two samples. Now it used to be just one, but now you've got two and you have the dedicated wave page to manipulate those samples. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what's new and Improved, updated and upgraded in Loom 2 and then jump into those more in-depth videos. Okay, so let's check out some of the upgraded features for Loom 2. By popular demand, max voices have been increased to 8 instead of 6. Also by popular demand, two additional subharmonic partials below the normal spectrum have been added. There are all new presets covering a wide range of sounds designed by acclaimed sound designers Richard Devine and Mark Ovenden. All the original Loom 1 patches have been remastered taking advantage of the new features. There's the new Spectral Noise section, which is a secondary oscillator section to replace or enrich the additive spectrum which was created with the sine oscillator with a noise spectrum. This is revolutionary in the additive world. In terms of new modules, we have the five signs module. This lets only the first five partials pass through. It's similar to an organ with five very clean ranks. This is great for getting signy sounds. There's also the discrete adder. This adds a constant level of specific partials which helps recreate parts of the spectrum which have been filtered out. This creates a metallic or organ-like sound. Finally, we have the double wave module which has its own dedicated wave edit page. You add this module on the edit page and then switch to the dedicated wave page. This works like a vocoder in that it changes levels of all partials with respect to the specific characteristics of the audio files that are loaded. And inside of this dedicated wave page, we have a number of new options and parameters to edit and manipulate the waves that we've loaded. On top of this, there are over 20 other performance enhancements. It's safe to say that Loom 2 is a big step up from Loom 1, and it's definitely one of the best additive synthesizers on the market. Let's go ahead and check out the edit page in depth in the next video. Oh